summoning the jackpot. Summoning my wife. As a play. The $3 lottery. I got these from um, this one um, scratcher guy. He had, he had a bunch of them on his wall. I've never been to that dude. So I got it on the on the way back again from, from Tom's. And uh, I'll probably do another. These are my last two that I have available. I still got that uh, ticket that I won off. So I better go uh, cash that in. I think I've gotten four losses in a row. That was a fifteen dollar win, so six, four, fifteen, five. So it's basically like getting all <laughs> starting from zero again. But you see, but uh hey, that's a shot that I took to maybe get a jackpot. And uh, you know, I could do this, I could be like other people be like I didn't win next. No. This is, uh, let's get straight to it. In my opinion, you know, I went in there, whether it's one of the places that I regularly get tickets, the closest place, or, um, or time. But it's the universe. It's the universe. Everything that I've done in life um, has led me to um, to this moment here, to buying this ticket at this time, this ticket number, whatever. At this store, at this location. And uh, you know. Yeah, and, I'm, and, and I'm just sharing it here with you, dude. But I'm also sharing my thoughts on here. Because I think, in my opinion, let's go through a reminder. Look, take it, another episode. Five dollars, two episodes. It's in and out on the high yields. But my, I'm trying to get that more for in and out now because the good damn. To drive over there that's probably, and drive back it's probably be how much I was probably just spending gas so it would need to be worth it so I think I'm going to go in and out if I get this one okay so in and out Chick-fil-A Chick-fil-A with a friend or barbecue um, barbecue spot either one barbecue spot barbecue spot with um, me and my doggies upgrade the camera equipment here for this channel and I'll uh, 30,000 invest into again I still want that um that Funko store you know that's a crap shit I'll take and I'll be doing um uh oh it's um that's my water bottle just uh a palma not to be confused with like you know that was my water bottle popping there so it's saying should I be doing that or not be doing that Bada beam, bada boom, we're, we're going to do that. But I was saying, summoning a jackpot and summoning my wife. Fuck. So, from a distance, you would think is that it's not on here the same as the scorpion. Because you can maybe see the um, spider web in the background. Oh, and plus, uh, I want to tell you where I got them at because, um, hey, you never know. Uh, maybe there's a science between who's who's lucky. I'm trying to think, jo I, don't know how, I don't know how to pronounce the uh, YouTube channel. I think it's called Jonius, and he was showing um, a, a batch of tickets that he had where he bought some at the store and then came back and bought some more and he got more winners from there profitable he's like what from a new store he didn't say where it was at which one but you know there could be lucky stores it could be lucky vendors lucky um cashiers 
again, there's gonna be one spot in Glendale that I'll be going to again. Um, there's a uh, one gas station that I, that I like because they uh, the staff mop the floor first of all for my dog to chill there as I put money in the machine, and then second, uh, they're courteous. Hi, as simple as that. Hello. Eye contact. That's it. That means I'm a fucking person. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for not being a homeless schizophrenic that's about to shoplift a black and mild and take a bag of Doritos with a Red Bull and, and knock over all the honey buns or whatever pastries right there. And, um, yeah, but there's other places that. Yeah, well, look at you, babe. Heady up, heady up and by. I've been having a lot of bad experiences. Um, dirty looks from the 7-Elevens that have, especially the Indian guys. And 7-Eleven corporate, if you, if you want to test me on that, I say, oh, that sounds, that doesn't sound right. You're just being an asshole. If I was to get an official comment like that from them, believe me, I wouldn't mind investing um money into a, a body camera and I'll, I'll i'll go in there with uh with a bunch of quarters and be like sir can i get one of those one dollar scratcher tickets please and can i get one of these loteria ones I'll, I'll be i'll be cool respectful low tone and you'll see how your um your staff treats me or your company because those owners, those franchise owners, are a reflection of, uh, of um, well, corporate, I believe. And I'll say, uh, somebody in my wife, somebody in a jackpot, because you know what? I need to have that, um, um, I'm saying someone, someone else that I like watching on YouTube. It's called Joe Dispenza. I'm going to the last one here. Um, mindset manifestation. And yes, I don't believe that if I was to say, my car is clean, my car is going to have um, clear a clear windshield, um, you know, bird shed, sprinklers, um, people throwing, putting flyers in the car or the home, <laughs> the home is checking his, his car open. become normal but I'm, I'm thinking about that now because not, not too long ago fuck them I need to get fucked up for putting hands on someone's car you just put a fingerprint on my fucking car I just waxed it and now it's not extremely rare but you see, you'll see it once in a while the homeless going like this to your car window what's in there what's in there me, you, and Chelo. San Diego. Just we're looking for the Cantarito, right? That'd be, that'd be pretty cool, pretty awesome. So, okay, okay. So now we're looking for two things. El Gallo, Cantarito. Okay, okay. Give up the odds. So now we're looking for El Gallo, La Rosa, and Cantarito. Alright, so let's just see. <laughs> why me? Why me? And why not you? Why couldn't it why couldn't you have bought this losing ticket? <laughs> Again, uh, I'm gonna keep on saying it. When people say why me? They're basically, um, they're, in my opinion, they're attracting negative energy. And anything, anyone, anything close to them, they're spreading it out. Why, why me? And why can it happen to you? I'm talking to you. Why couldn't you have bought this losing ticket? Why couldn't you have rolled your ankle? Why couldn't you have gotten that parking ticket? Got into that car accident? Got in, not that parking space? Got in fired? Got in caught cheating 
on your wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend? Why didn't you slip on dog shit? Why me? Why can't it happen to you? So, yeah, dude, um, I just like being cheesy like that when it doesn't work. Let me ask you something real quick. I think um, the next race is gonna be called um, twenty-three dollar scratcher. Why me? Why not you? That I win or that I lose? Okay. <laughs>